What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to demonstrate how to read key information using your Autel IM series key programmer. This function is used to read and write key data, verify the status of the key, whether it's locked or not, or the remote frequency. Now we're going to need our IM series tablet. We're using the IM508. We are hooked up to our XP400 Pro. We will need one of those or the XP200 if that's all you got. And we've got some example keys here just to show you the difference in options. So what we're going to do is on our main menu, we'll go to Programmer. And we're going to select Key. Here we have a couple options, Key Reading Writing, Key Info, and Remote Control Detection. So what we're going to start out is I want to check the chip and the lock status of a key. For that, I'm going to select Key Reading and Writing. And before I go any further, I'm going to take my key. We're going to start with a Ford. This is a newer Mustang key fob. And we'll place it into our XP400 Pro. And we're going to go ahead and select Automatic Detection. Okay, so here's our key information. We have our chip type up top, ID49. Our locking status shows as locked. Uh, if you're familiar with Ford keys, they can be reused, so I'm not too worried about that one. And then we can read our key ID. We can check the lock status again, or our EEPROM data for that. So what key ID is, let's say we're looking EEPROM-wise, um, we can read which key this is going to be as far as what's stored into the, uh, what should be the BCM on this car. We'll back out, and if we select EEPROM there, it should give us our EEPROM data as well. There we go. So we can get as simple or complex with that as we want. Uh, we're going to back out from now go back to this menu here where we see remote control detection. I'm going to select that and we still have our key and our antenna. We'll hit frequency detection. It's going to ask us to put key and antenna and we'll hit a button. And there's our frequency. So that's it on the Ford key. I'm going to back out. We're going to go ahead and try here a Dodge Smart Key. We'll put that in the antenna and we'll go to Key Reading and Writing. We're going to hit Automatic Detection. We have our chip type 4A. Status is not locked. If you know about Dodge Keys, they cannot be reused until they are unlocked. So. It's something I like to check, especially if I'm buying aftermarket keys or refurbished. Now we have our other menu here. We can do the same read key ID, read key info. Uh, we have a write page option now. So I can actually write key data in if I were to be doing this EEPROM. Uh, we have check lock status, generate key. What that would be used is if we're doing a dealer key some keys have to be what's called pre-processed for them to work uh, but we are going to back out of this menu from here and we'll check our remote control detection frequency detection same deal key and antenna we'll press a button and there's our frequency let's go ahead and back out of this menu now all right so for my last example what i'll do here is i'll show you a toyota key same deal with Toyota keys. They cannot be used, reused. If they are locked, they have to be unlocked first. So we always like checking them before we use them, especially if they're refurbished or aftermarket. So there we have our key ID, 8A. It's not telling us if it's locked or not on the first screen, but if we continue, we have key ID, key information, check key status, and unlock key. So we'll go ahead and check lock status. 
key is not locked. Now if we see on here unlock key, that's giving us the indication that if it was locked we can go ahead and hit that button and it would unlock it for us. So if I hit key ID, it's going to give me that same ordeal with the key ID information. Yeah, so hopefully you guys get the idea by now. It's a very useful function, especially if you're getting into the programming side of things. I hope this helps. Thank you guys for your time.